Hi, I'm Udo and I'm with Modern Engineering. This is Dean and he's with Hi. Industrial Auto Lube. So Dean, we're doing this series on sawmills and one of the things I wanted to talk to you about because uh, you're really heavily into the lubrication side of the sawmill. How much does a sawmill use for lubrication? Generally, depending on the mill, you're looking at 300000 to 500000 a year in lubricants. Really? Yeah. That's a lot of money. It is. Does, is, that, is, is that normal or do some people use more, do some people use less? No, surprisingly, it is normal, and uh, I think it goes back many years, and that oil was cheap, so they just put lots on. Really? Yeah. So, when you get involved with a company, how, can, can, is there a lot of room for savings in, in the sawmill? There's tremendous. A lot of the old ways of thinking was to put a lot on. They put lots on, and then they figured the equipment would last longer. Okay. And <clears throat> on... A very simple gang, we can come in in a weekend and knock $60,000 out of their lubricant consumption. 60000 per year? Per year. Per year. Yeah. Just on a weekend? It, it just basically goes down to optimizing the system where you dial in the controls, you monitor a little bit more tightly, and the whole premise is to put a very small amount on often to maintain a light film. So if you walk into a sawmill and you were to redo their entire system, so you're telling me that they're doing about three to $500,000 per year in lubrication. What would they save if you, if you just did their whole mill? Hitting the low-hanging fruit, we could knock a quarter million a year out of their consumption. Quarter million a year? Yeah. Wow. What does it take to do that? Well, like I said, just optimizing the systems, um, bringing in automation controls, and uh, setting it up a little bit more efficiently and effectively. If, if they're using all this lubrication, what, what are the consequences to that? Um, a lot of the high-speed stuff generates a lot of heat, which um, really cuts down on the, uh, the bearing life. Um, too much lube can pump seals out in which you can get debris in them and it takes the bearings out. Uh, there's huge environmental issues, there's housekeeping issues, you know, it just so, the ripple effects. So what you're really important. telling me is, is, is that not only are they going to save a quarter million dollars per year, but there's going to be a lot of other costs that they're going to save. Yes. So yeah. how much would that look, what would that look like? Um, it's really funny that the ripple effects can be very far reaching to the point of uh, improving um, the lumber uh, sawing actually where you reduce your deviation. Uh, it, it just... So we're, ta we're talking maybe two, three, four, five fold? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So not only are we saving a quarter million dollars in direct cost, but we're doing a five-fold increase in all the other costs that you're going to save, right? Yeah. I mean, there's labor involved, there's, uh, there's downtime, there's, you know, it's very far reaching. Wow. I didn't realize that lubrication was that, that important in a sawmill. I mean, I mean, from my point of view, I mean, I, you know, you see these barrels go in and, and, and all of a sudden you're telling me that, you know, by just going, by you going into a mill, you can save them a quarter million dollars per year on, on costs on the lubrication, plus possibly a five-fold savings on other things like repairs and downtime and, and better lumber quality. All those things. Yeah, it, it is very amazing. Wow. I, I'm, I'm amazing. Lubrication is actually a huge expense in a sawmill. It is. And, it also, and also, using too much of it causes problems. Creates their own issues, yes. That's right. So by reducing lubrication, you can actually save your sawmill more than the cost of the Just lubrication. Just the lube, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. But, you know, before we end this video, Dean, I've got something for you. Okay. <laughs> Now, I had something made for you that I want you to wear. <laughs> Thank you. But do you know what the definition of an expert is, right? <laughs> an, an X is a has-been and a spurt's a drip under pressure. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs>